Hey guys, Thunder E here and welcome to our unboxing of the Acer Predator G6 gaming desktop. Now this is Acer's top of the line gaming desktop from them and it retails for, well, at least the G6 can go up to about 1800 Now, what I like about this is first of all, it's easy to unbox. Thank you Acer for making it an easy process, pretty much moving those uh, packaging tabs that you have and it, you just have to slide the box off. But I, I absolutely love the fact that it is actually easy to unbox this thing, So, which is great. Now, the uh, G6 comes with a couple of things. As you can see right there in the packaging, it comes with uh, a SteelSeries Sensei wide mouse. So you've got actually give you some, some really good accessories there. I like the fact that, you know what, instead of us making something that probably doesn't work well, let's partner with somebody that does. Now, the other thing also comes with a keyboard, comes with an Apex keyboard. Now, it's an older keyboard, it's still a solid keyboard. You can check our review for both the Sensei and the Apex, we do have them up there. And I say, I'm, I'm glad to see they're there. Uh, now, that being said though, uh, the packaging is really nice and sturdy, keeps it safe and protected. So if you're uh, worried about shipping processes, you shouldn't be a problem worried about that. That's just some warranty information. You do have, of course, the uh, power plug, uh, which would be needed. Uh, and then also there are a few cables in here, which trust me, I found quite unnecessary later on. Now you've got an adapter um, right there. You've got a, a, a Y splitter for power. Um, and then you've got a um, display port to VGA adapter um, on there. So uh, that's something if you need it. Now, this is the unit itself. I'm gonna take it out and we'll take a look at it here. And um, I have to say size wise though, it is a mid tower case. So this is not a full tower case in terms of height. It is a mid tower case, but it looks absolutely fantastic. I love the look. You can see the Predator logo, massive there. Really looks good. Um, and it's got some nice uh, architecture around it. Now you can see, of course, the graphics card built in there. It's supposed to have a 980 or 980 Ti graphics card. It also has a holder for your um, your headphones, which is actually pretty cool. I do like that. Now, at the very front is that holder itself, and you can see the rigid, like almost armadillo design. Um, you can push the holder back in or pop it back out, whichever you choose to put your headphones. So, you know, for a trap, for a gamer who just wants the headphones ready and quickly accessible, that's actually pretty cool. I do like that idea. I think it's something a lot of people would appreciate as a gamer. Now, in the front, you have two USB uh, 3.0 ports, headphone, and of course, mic ports. You also have an SD card reader slot there built into it. Now you've got these two buttons here you can press on the right hand side in front. One opens up the drive accessible bay. Now the reason why I found this a little interesting is because you cannot open up the case to put in another drive so you have this bay provided for you, which is a bummer. I wish you, you I was able to expand on this more or, or swap out graphic cards later. You can probably do it but it's just really cumbersome to do. It's not an easy process I'll say. And then of course um, that of course is your Blu-ray drive. It's a Blu-ray um, uh, disk drive and also a RW drive, so you have that. This is the top of the case, the power button. It also has a turbo button for quick um, overclocking. So if you want to overclock while you're gaming, just hit turbo, done. I mean, we'll have to see how it works while we actually game and if it has any effects there. Now, in terms of full specs, that is a 980 or 980 Ti card, depending, I'm not exactly sure yet. You've got, of course, uh, six USB at the back. Uh, you also have it powered by uh, a six gen uh, 6700K processor. Uh, this can go up to 16 gigs of RAM. And then your internal storage is, is, is a 256 SSD as well as uh, two terabytes of storage. Now, moving on to software, Acer has included uh, a couple of things that can help you in your gaming experience. The Predator Sense allows you to do a couple of things like overclock your system. You can also turn on and off the lights, the glowing lights, and you can actually change the speed of the fan. Now, the, the bad thing about that is that, of course, it's it has a physical fan in there, so you can hear the fan spin. I wish Acer went with liquid cooling because it's really annoying. It sounds very, very loud. But you can also go ahead and change and overclock your system from normal to faster to turbo. So uh, this makes it very easy if you're not comfortable overclocking that you know these are presets 
uh, done by Acer to allow you overclock and maximize the performance of your system. Again, it would be much better if you had liquid cooling because for me, it makes more sense that way, especially if you're going to be overclocking, but they, but you can do it. Now, they also have the Acer Care Center, which gives you all the stats on your system. So uh, in terms of serial number, what updates are available, uh, tune-ups, you know, uh, defragging the system, things like that, all in one place. It's nice. I mean, it's all available on Windows. We know that, but it's also nice to have this here so that someone can easily access. Now, let's move on to the main topics here, which of course is gaming. That's what we do on a system like this. So right now I have the Witcher here and you can see the frames ra frame rate is at uh, uh, 33, 32, 36 frames per second. second. Looking at uh, this, we're playing this at ultra, maxed out everything, and it handles it very well. I mean, you know, this has a 980, uh, the system I'm running has a 980 built into it, uh, and it's, it will be running roughly around 30 to 34 to 36 frames per second, which is, you know, which is, of course, solid uh, playable, which means that you can play uh your games at max on the system, uh, especially something like The Witcher 3, which of course you know is very system uh, resource intensive. Uh, I can see just all the detail in the landscape, and even when we go over into some action sequences where we're fighting, you can see still it's pretty much locked at 36, 35, 36 frames per second. So uh, that's something that's really good, and I think a lot of people appreciate because you you know if you're buying a system like this, you're spending you know this kind of money, uh, and you want to get the best out of it. You want to be able to uh, uh, get the best performance in your gameplay uh, as much as possible. So as a gamer, I do like the fact that yes, even though it's a pre-built system, you know, you can definitely, I can definitely push it. Now, the other aspect too is that if we move to a game like The Division, now The Division, of course, is a new game. We've been playing it here. Everything is maxed out uh, here on PC and uh, it's pretty much an ultra. The thing about The Division is a very big, expansive open world game. So of course, it's rendering a lot of detail here and uh, you can see that it's, pretty much stuck at about 45 to 50 frames per second depending and when we go into a fight here you can see it's at 43 frames per second you know maxing out the graphics uh which is still pretty solid i mean i'm it's good that you can get this kind of performance again from the acer predator g6 uh, you know as a gamer um you know it's it's nice to be able to game on a system where uh, you know you don't have to actually compromise so uh, which is which is, which is pretty good so if you're one who's looking for a gaming rig and and, you know you you know you want to spend a good amount of money but you don't want to build it this might be an option for you uh just looking at how well it handles in terms of performance and don't mind my gameplay trust me i was just uh yeah it was terrible right now but anyway um Overall, I really like the Acer Predator G6. Uh, my one complaint is that you can't customize this or you can after the fact. So of course you can. You can only swap out or add hard drives uh, in the very top slot. You cannot add a second graphics card or even change the graphics card if you wanted to because um, it's not easily accessible. Granted, there are ways to do that, um, to open it up. Uh, but I do like the fact that it has all these other amenities built in and also a really good performer uh, all the way through. So guys, if you have any questions or any comment about the Acer Predator G6 gaming rig, uh, let me know. What do you think? Is this something you might be looking to pick up? If not, uh, or if, if you want to, just leave your comments down below. Don't forget to like and share this video, guys. If you this video, do subscribe to the channel and always enjoy your entertainment.